Hey guys, welcome to Sabri Zone. In this video tutorial, I will teach you about data base migration and models. So let's start. If we will go to our tools, Laravel 5, and here I will call controller and uh, I will call the Fury make controller and I am going to name it as post controller. We will post, uh, post our data here and uh, I want to make a model too. So we will go to our tools and uh, Laravel 5 and I will make a model for my project. So I will run this query and I will name it as post-m. Let's save it. Okay. Our model has been created. So if we will go to our database folder which is right here and uh, in migration folder we will have the create post table we have three tables and we will go to create post table and here we will have some uh, values and I am going to make here two other columns name as heading data type string and I will go I am going to name it as heading and another table another column which uh, I will gonna name it as description so I am going to uh, giving a data type medium text because it could be long so uh, I'm going to name it as description okay guys let's save it and uh, I want to show you other tables uh, in this table we have our email address and uh, we can reset our password here and if we will go to our other table here I have the email address password name uh, the login information the user will sign up using this information and can login using this information so let's go forward and if we will go to our env file which is right here uh, let's click on it and here we need to change our database name and we need to change our username so to get our database name I need to create a database let's go to our XAMPP and I am creating a new database I am going to name it as Sabri zone let's create it hit enter ok database created now uh, I should go back to my .env file and here I am going to name it as Sabri zone and uh, the username will be the root and as we have no password so I am letting it blank ok let's save it and uh, if we will go to our providers providers folder uh, where it is it's uh, it is uh, here we go we have if we will go to our provider folders here we have app services provider here we will write use illuminate Oh, sorry use illuminate forward slash don't use backslash here forward slash sport and another forward slash facade another forward slash and schema and if we will go to our function which is boot function right below there uh, we have to write there the uh, to increase the string length so we will write here schema dots default string length so we are increasing our string lengths uh, so that uh, the heading and description we have created uh, we uh, we am we are reducing the chances of getting error so we will give here a parameter which is 191 it is a length so okay okay let's save it and uh, if we will go to our uh, command prompt again we will go to our tools laravel 5 and we will write here migrate so we will migrate uh, so that we can fetch all our our table to our php my admin ok migration done so if we will go to our browser let's check it out whether our tables are migrated successfully or not uh, let's re refresh it ok so if we will Cook, uh, as you can see we have all our table migrated successfully here we have the password resets post user and migration table uh, and if you see uh, in the tables all columns are similar which we have seen before when we were 
changed our column and we were added two other columns headings and descriptions which is inside this post column post table so we will go to our post table oh I made it hidden okay I am showing it so if we will go to our post table okay we are getting information of users tables user have email name and password so we will go to our post tables here you can see all the structure and description and heading column which we were added before it have the same value varchar and medium text which we were added before okay let's save it and uh, let's uh, add some data to our database so, uh, to do that we will go to our insert here it is and here we will type some data this is heading I am going to type it in the heading section heading 1 actually okay if we will go to description we will write here this is description of heading 1 okay let's uh, click on go and save it as you can see we have saved our data successfully one row affected so if we will go to our structure if we will go to browse it you can see we have our table added successfully and I am going to add current date here so uh, created date will be same as the updated date so I am updating my date to 12 actually 12 ok let's save it great so uh, how can we add our data from command prompt so let's type windows powershell and here we will gonna write cd and uh, let's go to uh, our uh, directory which is sabri zone i am going to make my location uh, in the project so we are in the project now and we will write here php artisan tinker so uh, by using this command we can add our data from database uh, in the database so we are now in tinker and now we will write here app backslash post dots and count to check it out how many rows we have we have one row which we were had added before so we will write here dollar post is equal to new app slash post and a function this command is used to add inside the function so here we will write here dollar post is equal to dollar post arrow heading which is our column name and uh, what we want to save we will type here in quotations so we are using quotations here and uh, we I will gonna write here this is heading 2 ok let's save it ok it's save now we will write dollar post and uh, arrow and we will gonna write about description so we will type here description our column name and what we wa want to save in our description we will write here in the quotations so in the quotations we will write this is description of heading 2 ok let's save it hit enter and uh, to save this we will type here dollar post arrow and save and our function we will calling here we are calling here the save function and uh, let's hit enter if we will get true it will be saved successfully okay get okay great as you can see we get true we will quit here okay now we are back in our project and let's close it and let's check it out whether our data is saved or not let's refresh it okay great as you can see we have added another row in the table data in the database successfully so let's go forward and uh, uh, we are trying to make our post controller but in our post controller we have 
some function we have index function create function to create our data and store function to store created data and another function is edit function to perform our CRUD functionality and we have our update data here too and uh, updated data has to be shown so we will show our saved data and uh, uh, to destroy we will use our destroy function so how can we get all these functions uh, to get all these function or to get all these defaults function we need to make controller again so I am going to drop this controller deleting it okay let's go to tools and uh, laravel 5 and here I will make a command post uh, make controller and I am going to name it post controller space dash dash and resource ok let's save it and hit enter ok controller created successfully and if we will go to our controller uh, we need to check it out whether we get all those functions or not ok great as you can see we have our index function we have our create function we have our show function store function show function and update function edit function and destroy function so we have all of our functions uh, let's save it and uh, if we will go to our CMD I want to show you about the routes so uh, let's uh, go to our project directory so I am copying here past and changing directory to our project and hit enter ok now we will write here artisan routes dot list to show how much route list we have or uh, how many pages route list do we have if we will hit enter as you can see we have our routes if we will go to our web.php where it is here it is ok we have all the routes index services and about page so we need to create a route so I am going to create a route and our pro, uh, controller name which is resources which we were uh, given in the name so I am going to give uh, its uh, model name which is dot quotations post it is model name and uh, a comma and uh, the controller name which is post controller ok let's save it and check it out whether we got our uh, route for, uh, for all those functions or not so let's save it and if we will go to our cmd again and uh, let's check it out the route list so I am going to run that query again as you can see we have now list of other routes we have created list for store index create store update show destroy and edit so as you can see we have all the routes for all the functions for more please subscribe in the next lecture we will use our controller and bring our model to the controller to show how we can use this functions to perform CRUD operation. See you next time. Subscribe please.